He accepted it. I had then for a godfather, Monsieur Bellard de Monceau, who did the thing in a handsome manner, as might be expected from a man of his wealth. I should not forget to tell you that I was baptized by the name Nelly Jean. As I grew up, I became handsomer every day. At least they told me so, and considering all things, I do not refuse to believe that such was the case. It is to my face alone, and I know it, that I am indebted for my elevation, and now that my beauty is daily becoming less and less, it is not without regret that I remember what I have been. Decrepitude inspires me with horror. I think I would rather be dead than ugly. Let me quit such distressing thoughts. Fortunately for my vanity, I was not the only person who thought me handsome, and my beauty gained me all hearts. It was which our neighbors should make most of me, caress me, and testify their admiration. Everywhere I was welcomed, and my company sought. How happy was I in those days! At the time I was fifteen, my father earned enough for our subsistence, and no more. My godmother was dead. As to my godfather, he seemed to have forgotten his pretty little goddaughter. They wrote to him, but he returned no answer. They wrote to him again, and then came some well-sounding phrases, full of promise, but nothing more. Time glided on, and our situation was still the same, that is, very dull and pinched as to means. This was not all. A greater misfortune was to be in store for us. My father, the sole support of the family, died. To the better regret of his loss was added the chagrin of the frightful situation in which we were left. A mean stock of furniture and a few trinkets of no value was all that remained. <laughs>